Hello, I'm Edward and welcome to WindowsReport.com. In this video, I will show you what to do if BitLocker fails to encrypt the drive. BitLocker is a full volume encryption feature included with Microsoft Windows versions and it is designed to protect data by providing encryption for entire volumes. BitLocker sometimes fails to encrypt disk drives, displaying several error messages. Usually, this problem appears when the users are upgrading their OS to a newer version. So let's take a look in depth at how to fix this issue in no time. For a more detailed explanation and even more solutions, please check the article in the description below. The first solution is cleaning the disk and recreating the partition. To do that, just press the start button in the lower left corner and simply type CMD. Then run command prompt as administrator. In the command prompt window, just type disk part and then hit enter. Afterwards, you have to enter list disk to show a list of all drives. Afterwards, you have to enter select disk, followed by the number or the letter you want to select the disk for. After the disk is selected, just type clean and hit enter. Then you have to wait until the drive is cleaned. Now it's time to create a new partition. Type create partition primary and hit enter. And then type assign letter equal and then once again followed by the letter you want to use. And format your partition by typing format fs equal ntfs quick and hit enter. This type of process can be tricky so please make sure to proceed with extreme care and follow it to the letter. Another great solution could be changing the security chip settings. To do that, you have to start your machine and open the BIOS setup, then go to the security tab and select security chip settings. Then select the discrete TPM option, go to clear security chip and save your changes. Then restart your machine, log in and enter your PIN. Check if the issue persists. According to some reports, it seems that this issue affects machines equipped with Intel PTT security chips using particular settings. Also, the machines were running the OS in BIOS, not UEFI. So if you want to reverse the action, you need to replace the firmware's boot capability with UEFI boot. Sometimes you may also need to reinstall the OS. You can also try enabling BitLocker without a compatible TPM. To do that, just press the start button in the lower left corner, then type run. Open run. And in the run window, just write gpedit.msc and then hit OK. Then in the group policy editor window, you have to click on administrative templates from computer configuration and then on Windows components. Afterwards, select BitLocker drive encryption and then go to operating system drives. Double click on require additional authentication at startup and in the new window select enabled and allow BitLocker without a compatible TPM. Requires a password or a startup key on a USB flash drive. Save the changes by hitting apply. Now try to encrypt your drive by using BitLocker. Another great solution could be clearing the TPM. To do that, just press the start button in the lower left corner, then type run. Open run. And in the run window, just write tpm.msc and press enter. Then a new management console will open. Under the action tab, just press clear TPM. Then in the clear TPM security hardware box, the simplest solution is to check I don't have the owner password and click OK. Then you'll be asked to reboot. It will indicate that you should press a key, usually F10, in order to clear the TPM. Once the system reboots, you will be prompted to press a key, which is usually F10, to enable the TPM. Press that key. The TPM setup wizard will start for you to enter a TPM owner password. You have to note that before starting to clear the TPM settings, please make sure that you backed up your computer, because this method may result in data loss. And lastly, you can also try to change the settings of USB devices in BIOS. To do that, just enter the BIOS setup utility. For that, you have to consult the manual from the manufacturer to learn how to do that for your specific model. Then go to Advanced, then Peripheral Configuration, then Access USB Host Controller and USB Devices. You have to check if the setting of the USB devices is All. If not, you should select it to All. This solution applies when BitLocker fails to encrypt the operating system drive using a USB startup key. 
The cause of it can be related to some settings in the BIOS mode. For more information and details, please check the article in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.